Happy Thanksgiving to all my uh, social media friends. I'd like to get into a serious conversation about my phenomenal daughter-in-law of mine. Um, what I'd like to discuss is when you talk about denying self. See, it's real easy to talk about denying self, but when the test come, the trial come, can you really deny yourself to serve? And my phenomenal daughter-in-law has proven that denying self is not easy because everybody's going to come against you. My wife had a fourth block of his heart surgery in August, and her daughter-in-law had to make a decision with her family, her husband, and traveling thousands of miles to come to her mom's knees during her heart surgery. See, that's what you call denying self. Husband was against it. Family was against it. And she was determined. No one going to stop her from getting on that plane, heading to the District of Columbia, and being with her mother until recovery is achieved. And kudos to her. Kudos to her. Because it's real easy to talk about denying self, but it's much more difficult. What are you going to do when you get in the situation? She delivered. I mean, it's just been phenomenal since the landing of the plane, heading to Bowie, and how she organized the whole situation. To God be the glory, because she came in and she took opportunity to serve wholeheartedly. It's not easy. My wife is down, heart surgery, she came in and she organized the whole situation. Just for that alone, on this Thanksgiving day, I want to give praise, honor, and thanks to my daughter-in-law. And then, furthermore, then she bring her 16-year-old grandson, Paul. Now, I have never seen a 16-year-old in my all my life in District of Columbia, Maryland, Virginia, in this United States behave in a manner that this young man has behaved. No problems. Very loyal to his mother. Humble servant. Took care of everything that's needed for his mom. And that alone is a blessing. See, before you can get to your blessings, you have to be a blessing. She was a blessing for my daughter-in-law to move to action against all the opposition with her husband to come to her mom's rescue and be there for her mother and deny everything that she wants to be able to serve her mom. And what a servant she been. Now, here's the catch. When, you, when you're obedient to the call, then God step in. Then he start to manifest in his blessings. He blessed her from the crown of her head to the bottom of her toes. She getting in the situation where blessings starting to overflow. Her job. Because when you forget about yourself and you serve others, then God opened up the door for you. Doors are opening up for her. And I thank God for her. I thank God for my grandson. I thank God for the young one year old. Because I have a son, but I have six grandkids, but I never had a relationship with him because my son would never let me give me that relationship because of the experience with me and his mom. But see, God got a way of replacing things that's missing in your life. Now, I'm going to tell you something about my wife. Strong and mighty. I must say, in the midst of all her illness, she still get up 4 o'clock every morning, fix my meals, take care of business. And see, one thing about consistency, when you're consistent in doing the little things, then the blessings come with the big things. See, until you understand what denying self is all about, 
it's a challenge for an individual. Because when you put in a situation where everything in your life is not where you want it to be, but you step out of the realm of everything in your life and you devote all that quality time to someone else's life, why everybody else complaining and talking about and wondering, what the hell are you doing? Why do you want to go all the way to Bowie Mile and you have a husband here in Philippines and all these things going on? But see, when you on an assignment from the Almighty God, you don't have to answer to nobody but God. Since the arrival of my fi- uh, wife, daughter-in-law, God has moved in a mighty way. And today, on this Thanksgiving Day, I want to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for all the things that you've done. Thank you for the sacrifice. Thank you for her grandson. Thank you for how they came together and strengthened the family base. Because what we needed was some base family strength. And she delivered. Day one. She didn't stop working on doing everything she can to please my wife. From organizing her office, organizing the house, organizing the kitchen, organizing every room, at her every need, serving her, taking her to the doctor, taking her to the hospital, and never complaining. And I can't say enough about Paul. This is a 16-year-old peer pressure. Taking out his environment from his home to come all the way to another country. But you know what? Humble his own dial. Therefore, his mom supporting, taking care of his one old year old son. And really, I'm telling you, it's been a phenomenal two months. It's been an experience of a lifetime. When God bless you with quality, see, my wife is quality. She has quality standards about her. And her quality standards is in rooted in her family. And just alone, I just want to say thank you, Lord. You know, we had launched C and W service and training. And then soon we launched the business. And then she had a full block of surgery. And everything to try to stop and hinder everything we tried to do. But look at her now. 80% recovery. Only God can do that. I had a blockage service, three blockages in 2017, and I recovered. But my wife, August, laying on her back, December, coming up, strong as a horse. That alone, Lord, I know you attention giver, get her. You want to get our attention. You want to get us on the same page. You want us to have an opportunity to go through some transition of some ruckus. But in the end, you're going to parse it all up. We're going to win. Because now, now that we're on the same page, now that we have the same situation going on, now that all opposition against us, he said, you are more than a conqueror. I bless you from the top of your head to the crown of your toe. Now you're good to go, to go out there and grind. Service to people. Walk in your blessings. And be thankful. Father God, thank you for my uh, wife, daughter, coming to this country and everything that she's done. See, Lord, you said if you just put all that you can into someone else's situation, then God will bless your situation. And that's exactly what happened to her. God's not a liar. His word is facts. She's being blessed. You know why she's being blessed? Because when the test came, she didn't question the test. She took action. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that now she's getting ready to head back to the Philippines, back to her husband, and God has opened up some doorways for her. And then the relationship has just got so strong, and it's, the bond was so phenomenal. It was just like, my goodness, you don't want a good thing to come to an end, but it's not the end. It's only the beginning of something great. Keep my life, keep my wife and, and me in good health, Lord. Keep blessing. 
keep prospering us and keep doing all that you can to get our attention. Because, God, one thing about you, you're attention getter. As soon as you think that you have a plan, God said, let me show you the master plan. Slow down. Let me intercept your life and bring some trials and tribulations. See how you're going to handle it. And today, I report to my social media fan, God is having his way. And today, he get all the praise, all the glory, all the honor on this Thanksgiving day. Enjoy your Thanksgiving and understand. When things are going wrong, and you never know who's going to step up to sacrifice on your behalf. God knew all before we even knew it that her daughter was going to deliver and come and serve and do the things that she done. And thank you, Lord. And I ask you to bless her, bless her family. Bless her travel back to her husband in November. And Lord, continue to bless us. And that we will build on the collaboration. And start the building our foundation with C and W service and training. It's time to grind. And keep your mind on the vision. Have a good holiday. Be strong, be encouraged, and believe me. You have no the answer. You have no answer for what you're going through until God gets you through. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. And thank you, Lord, for a beautiful wife, a phenomenal daughter, wonderful grandkids who was able to come in need and be able to elevate us and organize us and most important love us enjoy your thanksgiving